Uh, what, what is the most important trait your most successful students have? Uh, most important trait is submissiveness, meaning they're submissive to the Torah and they're submissive to Da Torah. Uh, meaning, whatever the, uh, if they ask, you know, uh, if they're going to do something, if they have a question about something, uh, they uh, already know that even if they think they know, they have to ask. And even if something doesn't make sense to them, but it says in the Torah, they have to follow. They're submissive to the Torah, uh, but also they are uh, submissive to the fact that the Torah is bigger than them. Many times people fail uh, in their uh, observance of Torah, mitzvot, yirat shamayim, and everything, even if they are religious. They fail miserably because they feel like they know enough or they know a lot. And uh, I can tell you that uh, from experience that the more people think they know, the less they actually do know. And uh, the more people think they know, the, uh, usually the further they are from where they think they are. Uh, the, uh, t- you know, now some people will say, no, no, I know that the rabbi knows a lot more than me, but there's always like a but, meaning that they know how to say something, but in reality they feel something else. So when a person thinks that they already know everything that uh, there's to talk about one particular subject or they're uh, experts in a specific subject or they know more than the uh, the rabbi or needless to say they uh, disagree with chachamim needless to say times a million they disagree with gedolei adol those types of people are not only a danger to themselves but they're a danger to society Uh, why because they're not submissive to the torah uh, you know, some of the biggest heretics in history were people that you would call Torah scholars. They were very, very learned in Torah. But because they were not submissive to the Torah, they manipulated the Torah according to their likings. And unfortunately, because they had so much knowledge, they were able to succeed in getting followers. People like Shabtai Tzvi, Shem uh, Yerkav, he was an extraordinary Talmud Chacham. He knew an enormous amount of Torah. Uh, Yerovam ben Nevat. The Gemara says he knew an enormous amount of Torah. He was one of the Gedolei Adol. He knew 127 Chidushim on every subject in the Torah. Uh, Doe Adomi was one of the Sanhedrin. These were people that were enormous Torah scholars, but because they were not submissive to the Torah, uh, which comes from humility, which comes from Yirat Shamaim, which, which comes from having a solid foundation, uh, the uh, person uh, doesn't have it. They could become a manipulator, a liar, a cheater, uh, and a heretic, uh, but uh, live a life without thinking for a second that they're even, uh, they've ever even done something wicked.